there are very many secret passages here. Ugh. What the hell, little kid? Really? Just one goblin? Like, I don't even need to cut this out. Vash is gonna get, get his turn first and finish this thing off. Down goes the goblin. Eh, we, we get not nearly as much as the last battle. What the hell? How'd you get up there? D this is a terrible place. You best run away while you can. Oh, now we got one with a hammer. A, it's kind of a weird hammer. This is Ogon. It's, oh, shit. Let's go for Antipode. Is this a boss fight? I don't think it's considered a boss fight. No. No, it's not. It's apparently strong against everything. Good lord. Die, Ogon. How dare you damage everybody like that? Go ice. Um, go fire. I assume it's going to do more damage if I, if I separate it like that. It does, actually. And down he goes. Down goes Ogon. We get 32 experience, 2 tech, and 80 go. Okay. 80 gold, sorry. <laughs> I'm getting my games confused again. H how'd you get up there, kid? I said. Fine, we'll just go up this way. And. Yeah, seriously, that's his tail. Come on, game designers. Can I go down this way? Because I saw treasure down here. I want to get this revive. So then we head back up and I will take on this guy now. What's up? He doesn't want to fight? Fine, I don't want to fight you either. Oh, but the bird wakes him up. Oh, and it's Ogon again. But we do have a new enemy. What is your name, birdie with a sword? Freelancer. Oh, apparently I went for Ogon. I did not mean to do that. Let's go for uh, ice and, and fire on him again, because that's pretty much the best bet that I have. Going with the single attacks on the Ogon. The single, yeah, the single magic attacks. So that could be enough. Oh, you can burn it away. Damn. Now let's go against the Freelancer. Oh, damn you, Freelancer. You have ninja stars. Okay, now you, now you died. Critical hit! There we go. Apparently once he gets that thing thrown away, it, he sucks. He gets 71 experience, 4 tech points, and 205 gold. Alright. What? Sorry, I heard random noises in my house. Let's grab another ether. We can keep on heading north. And... Really? Can't go that way. Can't go that way. You're, you're not giving me many branching passes. Pass passes. Branching paths. Whatever! <laughs> I'm going to take these guys on off screen. Yeah, definitely with the Ogon, use regular fire on them. And then they'll get their, uh, their little hammer thing. They'll, they'll have to throw that away. And then they become just as easy as regular goblins. So that's definitely the trick to those guys. Yeah, we'll take you on. No problemo. I kind of feel like we're over-leveled for this place, even though I haven't done any level grinding at all throughout this game yet. So I'm not exactly sure why I'm having such an easy time, but these things are not difficult, and Vash is usually killing them by himself. By himself. I think I cut myself off there. So let's keep on heading this way, and we can... Oh, yes, we can get this here. We get a mid ether out of there. I don't know where that freelancer landed. He's not the brightest person, but we can take on two of them here. Those freelancers, they do have a, uh, a counterattack on them. But, eh, not nothing too tough if you kill them in one shot. Just did not kill them in one shot that time. Go up here. We're just getting a whole bunch of great stuff. Do I already have a... I think Vash has a gold helm, but I don't think anybody else does. So let's go ahead and put that on Lamia, who has the lowest defense right now. Oh! Cannot wear it. Let's put that on Robo eventually. Can I switch you from here now? Wait, the party selection screen they said was on Square? There we go. Can I equip from the party selection screen? Apparently I can just bring people in whenever I want. Looks like 
Bloon is leveling up with us. Um, but, yeah, I can't equip from there, so that that's the party screen then. We'll just keep going then. We'll head up here, take on another Ogon who, who, who's by himself. Let's head west from here, the only place we can go. Take on the Freelancer who woke up in Ogon. Uh, again. Let's head south here and down this ladder to find a mid tonic. Awesome. Now we can head out of this area up here. And we find. Just. What the. How dare you throw things at me? And I see you, Freelancer. I see you. Ow! Stop hitting me. I got a mid ether there. I can't get to you yet. I'll get to you, though. I'll get to you. But first, I'll take on uh, these just two guys. I swear there was another freelancer. No, just these two guys. So let's go up this ladder here. Once again, the ladders. I don't understand ladders in the middle of a forest, but whatever. We've got freelancers to deal with. Let's go ahead and come up here and get our treasure, which is 600 gold. I'll take it. And then we can just move on through to the end uh, against uh, one... One Ogun and a Goblin, or, or two Ogons? It's hard to tell. Yeah, one of each. And before we can even move, we're, we're all suddenly caught in a gauntlet of these things. These things aren't tough. Okay, w yeah, we're just going to keep roaming a little bit further west and fight more things. I'm not in control at all, and that kind of bothers me. And I thought we were done, but no, now we've got these three enemies to take on. And now we are finally done, and Limea has learned the tech ability Cure, which um, I'm not going to use now. I'm going to use Aura instead, but I do need to heal. So now we're finally ready to move on to the next screen after that gauntlet, which wasn't that difficult, but still, it's a gauntlet. 300 gold. Out of that treasure chest there, I see you freaking freelancers. And a blue bellbird. Freaking birds. From here, let's go ahead and get that treasure chest since I see it. Get a mid tonic out of there. Now, let's jump down the waterfall. Yay. It's like Secret of Mana with the waterfall. Oh, Gyra didn't land so well. And here we can head up and around and get ourselves a silver earring, which I am going to equip immediately onto Vash. Because, well,. Bash wants to look pretty with his silver earring. Uh, what does it do? Max HP up by 25%. That is definitely worth it. And the Power Glove, uh, I'll probably move over to, to Balloon once he's back into the party. Now with the silver earring, uh, I think, you know, we can't go west any further. So we need to go this way and up this way. Which I believe should take us back to where we were. Yeah, very close to where we were. But that that is definitely a treasure that you can miss because you, you know you're supposed to go the way that you wouldn't normally think that you should. Are you guys gonna fight me again? Really? Shut up! Get lost. No. <laughs> yeah, they don't. They don't care. Oh, now they're going to fight me. Apparently, you have to walk away from them and then they have to be summoned in order to fight. With those guys gone, and uh, a few more uh, tech points learned, I guess, uh, we have learned a, a couple new things. We have learned Spin Cut for Vash, um, and Napalm for Kyra. Now, Spin Cut is um, yeah, two times damage, as I believe Cyclone, uh, but it does take up twice as much MP. And Napalm uh, is a, well, an area attack uh, for, well... Bombs. Uh, but we've also learned a couple new uh, dual techs. We have learned uh, Ice Sword and Fire Sword for Vash. And yeah, that's that's it. Uh, he's learned those two. But wow, that was uh, that was a lot of techs I saw at once. Just like, holy crap, how much did I learn? So let's go up here. Um, do I have to... Yes, we, we want to go down this side this time. And already, yeah, Kyra does not land well. Uh, we get a silver stud. And this is another accessory that I want to equip immediately. Uh, let's see. 
Magic Scarf. Silver Stud. MP use cut by 50%. I'm going to go ahead and put that on Limea because she is the healer. And that's much more important right now than uh, Black Mage in terms of MP. I want to keep the White Mage low. Or, sorry, high on MP. I think uh, yeah, you can just jump off from there. And now it's back the way that we went before. Just back up here. West across... No, north here again. West across here. And then uh, we can take on these guys again. From here we can head finally the way that we were supposed to. Do I have to fight you? Shut up, get lost. Fine. Let's go over here and grab this treasure chest then, get a mid ether out of there, and head down here. I bet, yeah. Let's say I bet that he fights us eventually. Let's keep going. We need to head to the west. Anything down here? Just enemies. Freaking bellbirds. So let's head across this bridge with those guys out of the way. And we have an enemy. What's up? Mountains are nice. Yes, this they are. They're not rendered very nicely, but mountains are typically ni nice. This is the life. Star staring at fog across mountains. It's kind of a nice view if it was, you know, painted well. Mountains are nice, yeah. Man, you're nosy here. Take this. And we get a magic tab for bothering this guy. And I thought it had to be five times, but so apparently it's four. So we're done with that guy, so let's head out of there. We can move on to a save point. Now, that really does look like that's going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Chrono Trigger. I have been Baller Scuba. I have been joined, as always, by Vash, Lamia, and Kyra. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.